Hello and welcome back, travelers, to episode 54 of Near Dark's Death Attack Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition campaign. Tonight's episode is titled Road to Zel Tibado. This episode is pre recorded. Um, unfortunately, our internet provider wasn't uh, cooperating, so this wasn't done live. Uh, you will be able to see this, obviously, on YouTube. But. A little recap. We last left off after their talks with Severin, the tiefling doctor that they've met in Skullport. They were introduced to a new companion, Legic, a sellsword here in Skullport, who is supposed to be doing a job with Baptiste, but he never showed up. And some strange and unusual events occurred at a tavern at the bottom of the bottle. It's now up to our party members to find out what happened to Baptiste and to see what information that he has on Calypso and where all the shenanigans of the Strand are eventually heading to. So tune in for tonight's episode. And we're going to go ahead and pick up right where we left off. I will say you're giving me high hopes with the title. But this is going to be some Road to El Dorado shit again. I don't know what you possibly mean. You know what I mean. Get out the guitar. I do have a dulcimer back there. Do we need it? <laughs> the question is, do you have loaded dice? <laughs> Things we need. <laughs> loaded no. dice? Oh god. That means we get like a loaded baked potato. Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. We're actually going to pick up, though, not with our group standing outside of the bottom of the bottle. We are going to pick up with a much more important quest line and plot. Oh, no. oh well, I guess I'll just go fuck myself. <laughs> Is this love and day? <laughs> We're going to pick up with interesting characters. My own. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> our night will begin with love and day. I knew it. On his way the ship to the siren's call. <laughs> Robin Day, as you hastily retreated from the tavern and left your companions. I'm trying to stop that wedding. I object. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> After a bartender strangely and oddly <laughs> intervened. <laughs> Lavende caught up in the moment, decided that it was his right and duty to stop that wedding. Whoa, hold on a second. <laughs> now don't stop putting words in his mouth. Don't oh. put words in my mouth. She has the right to marry whoever she wants to marry. But he's going to stop it. <laughs> <laughs> but I also have the right to fucking stop it. <laughs> Which is the what I just said. I just so. want to... <laughs> It's so confusing. Lavende. Find yourself making your uh, approach to the docks. You see the ship right where you last left it. What would you like to do? I'm going to look at, at the ship. Currently, you can see Barry up on the mast. Looks like he's doing some repairs with Hakan on the rigging. I'm going to take a second and then start heading up. Okay. On the gangplank or whatever, and up onto the ship. You've made your way up to the ship. Yes. Now that you're on the ship, you can see that it looks like Taku and Brutka are um, currently uh, uh, having a conversation on deck. You can see that uh, the door to the lower cabin is open. You don't see Sky, though. I'm going to go try to find her. Okay. Go ahead and give me a investigation. Hold on, I forgot to pull it up. That is going to be really low. I think that's going to be... A f that's probably going to be a five. Can you get an advantage for the power of love? No. Cue the song in the background. 
<laughs> Please don't get us copyright strike <laughs> for singing it so spot on. I didn't even know that they were singing. I thought you were playing playing from a radio. I'm so, that's crazy. No, you guys right, are so good. All right, all right. I know we're pretty good, but you guys can simmer down. <laughs> so about that investigation check. Oh uh, no, it's just a four. It's a four. Yeah. I thought it was. As you look around the ship, you actually can't seem to find Sky anywhere. Uh, not a single trace of her. She's not in her room. She doesn't seem to be in the lower deck. However, as you are searching for her and you actually make your way out of her room, you notice that Tinsel seems to pop out uh, from his room and he looks towards you like, Hey, uh, what are you looking for, Lavende? I just wanted to talk to Sky really quick. Oh. She left, like, ten minutes ago? How did I not see her? I just got here. Where did she go? Do you know? I don't know. She said she was going into the town for something. Uh, I'm going to go. Um, actually, uh, thank you, Timsel. Um, I'll, I'll go try to find her in the town. Is she all right? Is everything okay? Uh, she, yeah, she's she's all right. I just want to talk to her a little bit about something. She's not in, like trouble or anything, is she? No, no. I don't. I don't know even know if she could get into trouble. She too scared to do anything that would get her in trouble. I think. I don't know. She might be braver than you think. Yeah, that is true. I already got in trouble from her once already for assuming that she was not. Braver, or trying to do what I thought was right. It doesn't matter. I'm going to go to her to find her, and I'm going to go out and into the town and kind of just hope, because I don't know where to look. I'm going to hope to try to find her. So as you turn and you go to leave, your tinsel shout your name. Hey, wait up, Lavende. Yeah. Yeah. He doesn't move from where he's at. You just turn back and you look towards him. You see him standing. And he looks towards you. So what are you in Sky? That is what we're going to try to figure out, Tinsel. <laughs> and I don't know. But there are things that we do need to talk about. And whether it is something or nothing, it is things that need to be talked about. All right. And as he turns and he walks back into his room. And then I'm going to head into town. All right. And at this point, I'm assuming you're going to look for her? Yeah. I am loving those. <laughs> Could you uh, go ahead and give me an investigation check? Hopefully it's higher than a three. Hopefully it's hopefully it is a twenty. Oh, that's an eleven. Okay. Unfortunately, the uh, city is a unfamiliar wilderness for you. It's not easy to track someone in the city like it is in the in the forests, in a swamp. And spend Probably close to 15, 20 minutes looking for Sky. No signs of her. Is there a different approach or something you would like to do to try to find her? Maybe I should go back to the tailor. Okay. That is the only thing I could think of. Maybe she went there since I gave her the thing. All right. Doesn't take you very long for you to backtrack, make your way to the tailor. Upon arrival, you do realize, though, that the shop is closed. At this point, the sun is starting to disappear. There's still that faint pink hue that covers the, the seaside as you all are seeing the sun slowly disappear into the darkness. I'm not really sure where to find her or where she would have gone. Because I, I assume I would have maybe seen her in that 10 minute span of her leaving and she could have went a different direction there's more than one route out you know of the docks 
It's also still quite a few people that are walking around. Easily enough for her to get lost in the crowds. I, I know to go to the... Give me a will save. Oh, that is a natural one. Anxiety is starting to swell into your stomach, and you are now terrified that she's been kidnapped. You are going through all the worst-case scenarios inside your own head on what could possibly be happening to this guy at this moment. Almost to the point where you're about ready to have a panic attack. Why? Mm. I like you're projecting. Yes, because what that because <laughs> that would have been a, a ten with the plus three. Just so we're aware. Um, so I'm going to just keep like going through crowds and like yelling her name, Sky, Sky, and like going up to people. Have you seen a little dwarf named Sky? Maybe. All right. So. Give me another investigation check. Oh my god. Um, this isn't going to happen. I got a six. Okay. So, if this doesn't work, I'm going to the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> okay. As you make your way through the streets, looking for Sky, you realize that uh, you're starting to get a little out of control. You realize that people are starting to look at you strangely, almost as though you're mad. Eventually, you start to calm down. But you realize that you are at the bottom of the barrel. Not directly outside of it, but you're in that air location that you remember the, the bar being at. Mm -hmm. And uh... Are they there? Are... You don't see them. And that's where we're going to have to time travel a little bit backwards. So. The bottom of the bottle. The location that you were supposed to meet with Baptiste. However, after he didn't show and you asked around, everyone seemed to get quite hostile with you, claiming that they've never heard of any Baptiste. When you were drinking with him all week, something nefarious is clearly going on inside of this tavern. Looks as though the business has just started as the doors open and patrons begin rolling inside. I'm gonna pull them off to the side a little bit. Is it just us three? Yeah, it's just you three. Yep. All right. So, what's the plan here? And you all do remember the owner of the bottom of the barrel. I forgot the name. I don't. Did remember. you get this one? Mm -hmm. It's in my book. It's in my book. Hold on. I got this. And I, I got this. <laughs> I still have my, my notes. Hold on. Oh uh, no! I didn't save them. Is it your little book? No. no, stop saying that name. <laughs> uh, I don't got this. I have a note that says this bitch is rubbing me the wrong way, though. Is it Eugene? Eugene? Two ex two fictional XP. No, those were supposed to be mine. <laughs> those were Eugene, why don't I remember that? All right. Baptiste. Eugene is all he put... I have to. What would the three of you like to do? I already said. I pulled him aside and said, "Ask what the plan was." <clears throat> I don't really have a plan. <clears throat> so, because from my recollection, um, people are acting like they don't know who Baptiste is from. All right. Correct. All right. So it'll probably be weird if we just go in there and start asking about him. So, what are we doing? So Eavesdropping? Yes. I was gonna say we could go into a drink. <clears throat> Eavesdrop on some of the conversations. Have, do you, do you think any of the patrons here have seen you and Baptiste drink together? Maybe. I just have had thought of we could 
say that the Baptist, if they took him, we could say the Baptist that they took was a body double. This is the real Baptist. Well, do you have any inclination of why people might be doing this? Was he in some sort of underground ring or tied to some sort of dirty money or something? What's... I don't know anything about this man. Well, shit. The only thing I know is he was going to give me a job. What was the job? That's the thing. I didn't get to find out. Apparently it was really important. Hmm. I mean, I'm all for just hitting a couple across the head until they remember. Personally. I think we should avoid another bar fight. We have a good track record with bar fights. <laughs> I like this one. Do you want to have a bout? I can always go for a bout. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. I'm just going to say that right now. I think, I think we might get outnumbered real quick. Um, but what's the fun of that? I don't want it to be easy. Okay, we'll, we'll keep that in the back pocket then. But I, I'm not sure on uh, how, how we go about this exactly. I like, I like the first part of your idea. Ask around, then fake it. How style? That's when the fun begins. I'm always, always fine with that. Uh, all right, well, I'm going to be the bar, and if anything happens, I'll jump in, I guess. That's the plan. I don't think you're going to jump in. <laughs> I might not, but I'll watch. <laughs> so you approach. <laughs> Here we go. As the uh, three of you make your way up, the door is open. However, as you walk in to the bottom of the bottle, Legic, you see an individual <coughs> that uh, you don't remember seeing. As you walk in, there's almost a shadow that's cast down onto the three of you. Tall, towering shadow. There's a certain smell to this individual. It's uh, unique. It doesn't smell like human. It's almost uh, musky. Mm. As you turn and you look to the left, and your head has to move towards the ceiling. You see a rather large, well-built minotaur. Notice that he looks towards the three of you. His nostrils kind of flare. His eyes watch as the three of you pass into the bar. Clearly looks like he's maybe some sort of bouncer. However, you go ahead and give me a perception, please. <laughs> shit. Everyone? Just legend. Yikes. That is a two. Yeah, you don't see anyone that you uh, got into a scuffle with. Uh, can I use luck? Reroll. That's, luck only, only. that's only on natural ones, I believe. Is it? Yeah. Yep. Uh, uh, no, I think you can reroll. You can use luck to reroll. Yeah, I have it here. But you have, you have to take the, the, the new one. Oh, the new roll? And this Mine is a good says you can, you can choose. Oh, does it? Yeah. Uh, might you, say can choose, you can choose which one. My, on my race Is roll. that the feet, Lucky? Yeah. yeah. Okay. My, yeah. Ra my racial, you have to take it. Mm -hmm. I didn't realize they were not the same thing. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, nine. It's a little better than that. Two better. Definitely better than a two. Yeah, so you get three points each long rest, so you just spend that yeah. one point. Um, you can pick each of these. So. I don't have anything in perception. Interesting. Mm -hmm. 
all ones. So, you don't see anyone mm. that you recognize from the scuffle you had earlier in previous days. However, you do recognize that the bartender is giving a very hard look. His eyes are sort of fixed on you. You kind of walk in to the three of you. Where are you going? Bar. So three of you walk up to the bar. Notice that as he sees the three of you approaching, he kind of breaks his, his hold and you watch as he turns and disappears into the back. Did they notice that? Just you. Yeah. Where are we at now? Did we just sit down? You're at the bar. Would I notice him like watching something at all? Like having his gaze opposite of where we're walking to? You, he was his eyes were fixed on the bar, which is where the bartender was. So, but he watched someone walk to a back room, right? So is that behind the bar also? Yeah. Okay. As the three of you sit down, it is pretty uh pretty busy in here. It's quite a quite a few people. It's actually uh, really busy. It's almost, it's almost uh, it's lucky of you to get three open seats. Did you notice that? Notice what? Notice what? He's staring at me for a second. And then he walked to the back. It seemed odd. Mm. Notice the door opens up from the back, and you see a female. Uh, she makes an approach towards the three of you. you see that she has uh, curly, uh, very, almost uh, almost kind of like an Esmeralda type hair. Very curly, very full of body. She looks at the three of you. So, what can I get here? I'll take an ale. Just get an ale. Well, do you have anything other than ale? Grog, ales from mainlanders. I'll, I'll get ale. All right, three ales. So then it's shit ale. And then she turns and he watches. She goes over to a tap, fills up three tankards, brings it back. It's frothy brew over spilling as she puts it up onto the bar for you. Drink it all night, are we? Not likely. Why? Just wanted to have a few. All right. I'll keep your tab open then. Well, thank you. Well, she was a right bitch. So you said someone saw you and then went to the back? It was the bartender from before. It's weird how they switch as soon as we show up. Maybe roll perception to look if anything's going on. Give me perception. If you two are on alert, you can also do it as well. I got a 13. 13. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Um. Eleven. All right. Maybe it's because of Falner's height. Maybe it's because he's sitting a little bit lower than the rest of you. Maybe your eyes just kind of glanced over it. Falner, as you're kind of looking around, you do one of those where you grab your tanker and you sort of, sort of spin around and you look at the rest of the room. Hmm. And as you knock one back, you kind of bring the tanker down. There's a bunch of froth on your, <laughs> on your lip. You kind of have to squint past a table or two, right in between two tables, you see another a party sitting there. A group of uh, rather rough looking scoundrels. You notice that one of them, you see the glint of a hand buckler right over a dagger, hand gripped on it. He almost has his shoulder turned and you notice that he keeps kind of just
Like he's waiting for something. Did I notice the bartender? Like what they looked like? They went to the back of the back room. You just noticed it looked like a human, uh, pretty average looking guy. Is this a one story bar? Two. All what? right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go outside. Okay. I'm gonna drop my disguise once I know no one's looking at me. Okay. And then I want to walk around to the back to see if there's any back doors. Interesting. Are you doing this? Stealthily. Please give me a stealth check. I'll make sure no one's watching me. I'm just doing stealth stuff. Don't fuck me, don't fuck me, don't fuck me. I can't do it. So it's going to be 18. 18? Okay. You managed to leave the bar. You notice as you leave that minotaur, just kind of... I sort of follow you as you walk out. You see something you like? <sighs> All right, I'll be back then. Oh, um, so as soon as I saw them, like, sitting there, I, I'm going to casually, like, oh. Turn back around <laughs> and be like, uh, who's right next to me now that, uh, boy, the table, two, full, two tables back at 10 o'clock. Just, just casually look at them. They, they, they definitely look like they're planting something. Tell, tell Mary Mar goes there. No, it's just three of us. No, it's just three people. Just three. All right. But where, where, where did Jezebel go? I think she went outside. It should be back. All right. We'll just uh, as soon as you see him, just take note. Be ready for anything. How many clicks? How many were there? There were three there. Just be careful and look. Like just, just pretend that you're looking around, and then we'll go. You know. If you're gonna do this, give me deception. Uh, I was gonna drop my halberd. <laughs> Shit. Oops. Give me deception. <laughs> <laughs> Oops! <laughs> I'm not gonna yell like the that. Whoa! 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 Okay, this is really gonna work. <laughs> Where the fuck is my deception? There it is. I got 19. 19? Okay. You notice as you drop it and it hits the ground, you notice that uh, rather uh, stout individual as the Halberg hits the floor, and you watch it bounce up. So you hey, watch where you're going. Sorry. <laughs> it was an accident. Can I take a glance real quick? Sure. Do I need to roll anything? Give me perception. God, please don't see that. 18. You managed to get a good glimpse of what Falner's talking about. And he's right. These three individuals seem really on edge. They're not even talking. They just seem to be standing, sitting in their tables. They're not taking a drink. They're just waiting. Meanwhile, outside, Jez, you actually get to the back of the building and you have to duck behind what appears to be a wagon that's been unhitched from the horses. You can smell the thick aroma of manure and straw that the wagon is carrying. As you get up next to it, you have to hide as you hear the sound of footsteps clanking against the wood of the porch deck on the outside of this building. You see an individual kind of walk, take a moment, look around, and you see them pull out what looks to be a pipe as they start, looks like, packing it. They're right next to the entrance. Yeah, it looks like they're standing guard behind uh, some sort of back entryway into the building. Okay. Are there any windows? There are windows on the bottom floor. However, these windows on the bottom floor are more like um, slats. Um, so they're just open, like, see-throughs, seaways. But there is a balcony above the back portion of the building. And there is a door up there. If I take a look around, does it look like there's any way I can climb up there without someone seeing me? If you were nimble enough, you could easily leap off the wagon onto the deck and climb up. Alright, I'm gonna risk it. For the biscuit. 
while the guard's standing there? I just asked if there's a way to do it without anyone seeing me. You could jump up on the wagon and then jump up there, but you, he would see you. Okay. I didn't hear that part. I apologize. Okay. Uh, I'll use um. I want to use thaumaturgy. Is, is the door behind him open or closed? It is open. I'm gonna use thaumaturgy to close the door behind him, like really roughly and loud. Slam the door shut. Uh, okay. Wham! As the door slams, you see him. As soon as he does that, I'm gonna scale. Give me an acrobatics. Wow. As, as he looks. Whoosh. Gone. 19. Now you see me? With one step up onto the wheel, at a leap, Jez flies to the air and grabs onto the wooden railing and quickly climbs over. You see her tail dangling down, and as the individual turns back around, that tail just... just in the nick of time. Like a demon's whisper. <laughs> He's in. Fucking wind. Nice. You're now up on the balcony. Still in stealth mode. I'm crouching. I'm crab walking. <laughs> I'm under the window. At this moment, Jez <laughs> is. I learned from the crab people. Um, so I'm gonna get up there. I'm gonna stay stealth mode, and I'm gonna make sure, I, like, have my ear up to the wall, the door, and see if I can hear anything first. Okay. As you make your way up and you put your ear to the wall, you hear laughing conversation. Sounds like a group of individuals playing some sort of game. Probably Three Dragons Ante. I'm going to sit here and use drop. Okay. Um, how long do you do that? Like ten minutes. Okay. About ten minutes go by and you've been eavesdropping this entire time. You can tell that the individuals involved in this are heavily inebriated. But uh, they seem to be more interested in the game and who's going to win the pot. They don't seem to be talking about anything else outside of the game. And then you hear one of them go, We're out of alcohol, so I'm going to make a trip downstairs. Quick. And you watch as he gets up and you look through the window and see him stumbling down. You see the other one, the other individual he was playing the game with, you see his head rocked back and begins to pass out during the situation. And that's when you see the other one go, Hey, you much lightweight can't hold your alcohol. Not like me. He looks towards the window and you have to kind of duck down real quick. You see him I need to take a piss. Awesome. As soon as he gets to walking, I'm gonna like ninja bolt over to the other side, so from where the door will be opening, so I'm behind it okay. when it opens. So you see the door open up as he walks out into the deck. You hear him undo his trousers and begin to relieve himself off the balcony. <laughs> Until at which point you hear someone go, "Who the fuck's pissing up there?" Uh, yeah. As the guard below is seeing a stream. <laughs> Lay down next to him. Oh, as soon as that's going on, I'm going to quick go inside. Give me another stealth. Ooh. I'm going to use luck. Sounds better. 16. 16. A lot better. I'm going to roll with this advantage here. Very inebriated. Okay. You slip it. See that individual. I'm gonna close the door behind you real quietly. Is there a lock on it? You do see a keyhole for a lock, but. I'll get out my lock picking tools real quick and lock it. So. You need to get the tumblers to, to turn. Lock picking tools won't turn the tumbler, it lifts the tumblers. So they don't work to lock, the, they only work to unlock. Right. I'm just gonna close it then. Could give me a perception check then. Twelve. Twelve? 
as you look around real quick, you notice that on the individual drinking, you see on his hip, there's a rather hefty key ring. Looks like there's four large metal keys on it. Mm. How's it attached? Looks like it's just on a clip on his belt. Alright. I'll go over. Stealth. Give me a sleight of hand. Oh, I'm walking over there. Okay. You you still got the stealth roll okay. from entering. And I'm gonna use my dagger to cut gently cut the keys off. Okay. So go ahead, Sylvia sleight of hand. Uh nineteen. With a quick cut, the belt releases and the keys as you grip around the four keys so they don't even jingle. Pull out the keys. Are there curtains on the window? There aren't any curtains, um, but uh, these windows are... These are not high-quality, clear windows. These are very grainy, foggy windows. You, you, they don't do a lot to see through them. All right, I'm just going to lock the door. As you go up and you lock the door, you can actually hear that individual. Uh, it's actually starting to get into a heated argument outside where uh, one of, both of them are basically threatening to beat each other's asses. <laughs> Now that you got the keys and the door is locked, where are you going to go? I want to take a quick look around the room real quick. Give me perception. Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen. Pretty well. You do notice something that catches your eye. In the room, there's a map of the Strand. Seems to be uh, nailed up to the wall. You can see that there's uh, certain islands that have been circled and X'd out. You also see that there is a wanted poster stuck right next to the map. And it's got your face on it. Oh. Well, all right. All right. I've seen a few of these before. Who's it from? Who now? Who did I upset? Who warranted it? It looks like this is a general wanted poster by state officials. Which state? It looks to be Aronia. Fucking Aronia. Alright, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna keep that. That's mine now. Okay. I'll put it in my bag. And I'm gonna put my disguise back on. Immediately. Is there like a, a bounty or anything on there? Yeah. Just wanted. Oh, how much? Looks like you're currently going for 3,000 gold. Oh, that's not good. Alright, yeah, that's going in my bag. Who's the likeness? It has the nose. <laughs> likeness is actually fairly accurate. You're mo pretty sure that this probably wasn't even printed with by hand. It was probably done with magic. Mm. Is that all I notice? It's all you notice out of the ordinary. Alright, nothing involving Baptiste at all. Not that you can see. Not that I can see. Ooh, that was a good hit. Mother Dino got you. <laughs> <laughs> what, are, what? So, is there anything else around that area that I'm looking at with the map? And the one poster? Of interest? Tell you what, you can go ahead and give me an investigation check to spend more time in the room. 18. 18. Okay. You decide to investigate a little bit more where the map is. You can see that there's a desk there. As you begin rummaging through the contents of the desk, you actually hear that individual coming back up the steps with the alcohol. You hear them stop midway as someone calls, shouts this person's name. And you hear them go, All right, fine, I'll be down. And you hear them turn around and come back. You Know that you probably don't have a lot of time left on that. But through your quick investigation, you happen to find another wanted poster. It's one of Calypso. You can actually see as you move through these papers. A piece of parchment catches your eye. 
signed by Calypso. It looks like it was written to a Eugene. Do you read it? Or I'm just going to take it in my pocket. Take it, okay. As and, you uh, take it. I'm heading, I started to make my break for it towards the stairs. And as you go to this, as soon as you get to the stairs. I'm not even, wait, I, before I get there, I'm going to look at the table to play Dragon's Ante on. Is there any money? Yeah. I'm taking it. It's mine. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna swipe that real quick. Okay. Ching, ching, so then add another 200 gold to your oh your mountain uh, inside your jacket. <laughs> it's never enough. Fill the void with gold. All right. <laughs> now I'm going to get. Is I'm a, I'm kind of picturing it like an attic stairwell kind of. So it's just like flat. Yeah. So I'm just in the opposite side of where they're gonna come up from. I'm just just quietly jump down behind them and then go. And as you get over there. You actually hear the door knob outside starting to shake and jail like, Oi! Oi! And you start hearing banging. I'll toss, I'm going to toss the keys, like slide the keys over by the, the guy on the floor. On the okay. So you throw those keys and they slide over and they land by the, you watch that room. It's okay, hey, bro, we won? I won? And... As soon as this happens, you hear those footsteps coming up the stairs before long. A very confusing encounter between these three individuals begins to take place. As the individual comes up with more alcohol, you see that person grab the keys from the chair and walk over and unlock it. You hop over and begin to make your way down. You hear immediately someone claims the other one is cheating, the gold is gone. And as you make your way to the bottom, you hear a <laughs> as a musket shot goes what off. You do. Hey, you gotta, you gotta crack a couple eggs to make it omelet, all right? That is so funny. I would have done it eventually. As soon as you get down to the bottom, though, and you make your way out of the bottom stairs, it looks like you come out not in the tavern. Uh-oh. Uh, you are some hallway, you're not quite sure where you're at. You're in this building, you don't know the layout. What would you like to do? It's a straight hallway. There seems to be two doors on the right that are uh, on the wall. And then on the left side wall, there's one door. Oh, I'm gonna follow if I can hear all the noise from the bar. Okay, so you're just going for the... Yeah. You know, so the left door has, seems to be where the loud noise of the bar is. As you open that, you immediately see that gold warm light begin to spill into the room as you quickly come out and you close the door. As you close the door, though, it's almost like you all hear the music mm. and everything stop. No, no. As I'm through back around. Jez closes the door, you can just feel everyone's head on a swivel look over and stare at Jez all of you look over and stare at Jez as well and you realize that she just came out of a secret wall oh 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 no oh no oh shit's fucking heavy there's a okay. there's a slight <coughs> <laughs> Before you hear Forget her! And all of a sudden the entire room almost explodes up as people slide their chairs back, tables get thrown, weapons are being drawn. Roll initiative. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> all right, we're exaggerating a little bit, okay? I, like I got this. lost on my way to the bathroom. Let's calm down. This comedy intro. <laughs> the echo. I was doing so well. I got 18. I got 21. 18. Who has the higher decks? Uh, yes. plus six. Yeah. Just what's your decks? Mine was a plus one. Okay. I have 21. Yeah. Oh, not a question the... for me, man. I thought you had the. Jizz and I am so sorry. Oh, you didn't know. Okay. 
Hold on, you're up first. How many people are all looking at towards the decibel? Uh, probably about a good 15, 20 people. How close are we to? Like, how many people? She's across the room. Who's next to us? Uh, everyone, everyone's between us and her. Oh, I yeah. know, but who? <laughs> oh, even some of the people at the bar have also, also turned around and, uh, you know, pulled weapons. <clears throat> Yikes. Uh, however, you realize that Minotaur is looking at both of you. Oh. And you see him... <laughs> Shit. Sorry, my. Yeah, they're all looking at me like my parents. The anger, the uh, disappointment. <laughs> Fall there. What would you like to do? I'm gonna swing Skullbreaker. At what? <laughs> just gonna swing. I, I apologize, <laughs> but my D and D on crush just right before it was well, my turn. Like I'm, to I'm just gonna swing Skullbreaker. Just at a random person? Uh. <laughs> me. Yeah, someone has got his back towards us. Okay. Pull the hit. Call it backbreaker. I'm pretty sure it's plus 10, right? Go ahead so and roll damage. Yeah, so it's gonna be like 21 to hit. What? Uh, 15 damage. This is how this scene plays out. Okay. As soon as this happens and you hear that eruption, eruption of steel and metal and tables and chairs being skidded across the floor, you turn and you look towards that minotaur who's starting to move people out of the side and just toss them like rag dolls as he's making his way towards you. You turn back and look at Falner. Falner? has already leapt off the stool and you watch as he pulls his weapon and just oh! and just like <laughs> just a guy sitting in the chair <laughs> and you watch him oh! <laughs> as Fulner just commits murder no. <laughs> welcome to the crew <laughs> Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Did they even have weapons? No! <laughs> I just said the person on their back turned. I had a feeling that That's they just got up. I, I saw that I was going to get fire. <laughs> I want to kill her. I want to just text someone and just go, oh my <laughs> god, you best read that. So Alright, uh, Jez, you were up. Uh, so, um, Oops. the majority are kind of coming my way. Yep. Alright. I have a bomb. Still. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna pull it out. I'm gonna pull out my flint and steel. Like, so help me God, I'll blow this place to kingdom come. You will see everyone kind of. She won't even fucking do it. <laughs> How does flint and steel? So you have to like spark them together. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna have the grain in one hand and the, the flint in the other hand. I'm gonna spark it next to it. Do you light it? I'm. I'm just, it's like a warning spark. You watch as they all kind of back up, back up, back up. You ain't getting out of here alive, lass. Calypso wants your head. Does he now? You can drop the disguise. We know who you are. Siren. Mm. Alright, I guess I'm lighting it. I'm gonna turn around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna turn around and I'm gonna pretend to light it. I'm just really quickly throw it into the crowd. Okay. So I can't even see. You throw the grenade in the crowd. You are immediately having flashbacks of the last time you were <laughs> in a pirate bar. Meanwhile, it is uh, Minotaur's turn. You watch this Minotaur clear through the room and make its way up and looks right at Falner as Falner pulls his bloody blade out of the back of this individual. <laughs> this just pure rage-induced halfway looks up towards the Minotaur. The Minotaur looks down towards you, and he's going to attempt to grapple you. You are stunned! to... <laughs> There's a. Uh, could you okay, go ahead and give me that? Do you want to some too as he just murdered an innocent bystander? You can't escape, like, what happened the first time. You can't escape that now. You literally just murdered a man for no reason. Ten. Well, I. Ten? I had a okay. different picture in my head. Oh my as, you, as you look up and you go, You want some too? You see this Minotaur. 
grab you by your face <laughs> as his hand covers your face. <laughs> 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 and you watch as he picks you up in the air. Meanwhile, outside, Lavender, you're standing and looking at the bottom of the bottle, and you're like, I don't know, I guess they're not here or something, and you see the window. As Fowler's body comes flying out of the bar, you see him hit the ground and roll up towards you as he lands back up, his back on the ground, face up, and just right at your feet. Oh, hey, Lavender. <laughs> I'm just gonna sigh and like make my helmet and pull out my staff and just head inside because I know as I've you, been here so many times you, before. As you said, <laughs> uh, we're gonna roll damage real quick. Uh, go ahead and take 18 points of damage. And as you, uh, <laughs> as, as soon as you do that and you pull your staff and you bring your helmet. You, uh, is there anything you want to say, Folder? That was a good throw, mate. And I'll get back up and I'll have my sword in hand. I'll start heading back in. And as you guys get up and start walking there, you just... <laughs> you see hear an explosion as... <laughs> a shockwave goes throughout the room. Legend, could you go ahead and give me a, uh... Could you go ahead and give me a dexterity? I'm just I, gonna... didn't, I didn't light it. Oh, you just I threw it. I said I pretended to light it, and I threw it really quick My into bad. the group. My bad. Never mind then. Okay. I wish I did I that, though. You did <laughs> Can we just okay. retcon it so you did? Let's rewind. I light it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right. So that will bring us to uh, Legic is now your turn. <laughs> so that literally was just like... <laughs> God, man! <laughs> because he killed Yeah, as soon as you see him kill something, you watch that Minotaur come up and, and he comes up. You would stop and you see him grab him and just <laughs> throw <laughs> Fowler across the room. It was like a blur. <laughs> you see him rock it out the window. I just see that like... You watch the Minotaur then. Oh, no. And ask for this. Can't hold back. <laughs> Going to attack. Okay. You go ahead and roll initiative. Yeah. Uh, go back to action. Uh, go back to action. 16. 22. 22? Yes. <laughs> That's a hit. Roll damage. I like to use disarming attack. Well, he's unarmed. Oh. Should I ask you? I guess a menacing attack. I'll do a menacing okay. attack. Okay. Alright. So, which one is the... Saving throw just needs to be a, a DC 15. DC 15? And it is wisdom. Wisdom? <clears throat> that is only a 12. So that is a success. Okay. Uh, he is frightened until the end of my turn. Okay. Or next. Until the start you of my turn. You still roll the, the damage though, right? That is a 13. 13 damage? Okay. You bring your halberg up and you actually, uh, how would you like to, how would you like to be menacing towards this guy's <laughs> I forgot that I hit that quite. But, um, I'm going to be like, <laughs> I'm about to take this one. Are you ready? Are you ready? And I just jump. <laughs> the Minotaur kind of is taken back by your strange demeanor. As soon as I get like... close to him and I'm about to swing, it's going to be like a death stare. Like. <laughs> Alright, did you say you were going to attack again? Yes. 18? 18 does not hit. Okay, that one doesn't hit. As you see him sort of back up. You bring your halberd down and get one good chop onto his chest. As the blade drags across the meat, you see that fur split open. You, as you go to make your second attack towards his head, you watch as it bounces off of his horn. Lavende, it was your turn. So I'm walking in and I see this happening, correct? Correct. I'm just going to pull my bow 
And I'm going to... Well, as I go to grab the bow, I'm going to use Flame Arrow. Okay. And as I pull it back, I'm going to shoot twice at the Minotaur because I see him fighting him. Correct. And I'm just going to let two go, and I'm going to use Dreadful Strikes for the first one. Okay. At the Minotaur. What does Frightening do? I got five balls. Can't find it on here. <laughs> what is what? <clears throat> what is uh, Frightened creature has disadvantage on ability checks uh, and attacks <laughs> of uh, any source of the fear while it's within its sight. And the creature can't willingly move closer to the source of fear. So nice. he won't make an advance on you, and as long as you're within his sight, he gets disadvantage of pretty much everything. Shit. Yeah. Brighton's pretty good. So I got an un unnatural 20 for the first one. Hey. Is that it? And I'll sort of think about that, actually. Um, that does 14, 20 damage for that first two. Okay. Second one. It is a 30 to hit. That's a, definitely a hit. Yeah. That is six, twelve, another twelve damage. Twelve damage. <clears throat> okay. Now. This brings us back to Falner. It is your turn. <laughs> I'll kick open the door. As you kick open the door, you already see uh, Lavende was standing inside. And you just watched him release arrows to... <laughs> into this minotaur, you watch as it strikes into his back, this flaming arrow and another shot before you see this creature sort of cry out in pain from it. What would you like to do? Uh, how big is he? Uh, he's probably, say, somewhere <clears throat> around seven feet tall. All right. I am holding a spell action, but I want to say something first. I said, I will let all my friend go if you all don't want to die right now. And I'm holding... Uh, spells. Spells? It's an agonizer You can't all be the wild card. Okay. I knew what spell he was promoting. I just think he knew what he was doing. One guy, he's gonna... Yeah, you know, let's just let this play out. Okay. Um, Jez, your turn. Uh, I can't whistle when you're alive, so I'm gonna whistle to the crew. Okay. And if I catch their attention, I'm gonna be like, "Get over here now." Okay. You guys do see Jez is clearly like, "Get to me." If I see anyone make a a reaction, or, a, or an action towards any of my crew, I am releasing my or I can the switch it. Okay. Right and, through the middle. And I'm <clears throat> summoning my hex blade also. I just... And as you summon your hex blade and put towards it, it, then comes the Minotaur's turn. You watch as the Minotaur immediately turns, and while his shirt seems to be, be setting a blaze from the fire, you watch as he looks away from uh, <clears throat> Legic as he breaks through the back uh, room and appears to be fleeing from the situation. As soon as he flees from the situation, you see one of the uh, pirates go, Ah, fuck this jumper! And you watch as they go to jump towards you. Are you going to release it? Yeah, if I go right through the middle, is that what everyone is like? All the people that so are big, aggro. Yeah, big density of it. And aggro, like they're the aggro. They're not innocent. I don't want to hurt anyone that's innocent. The word innocent is a uh, you already, very... You already, the word is a very... Uh, you're not innocent. The, the word innocent is a very um, undetermined word here. Uh, is you don't know anyone in this bar. He well, means bystanders. Well, I don't want to do what happened earlier because I didn't want to just kill someone cold-blooded. Anyone who is not seemingly <laughs> active in trying to get Jess has already fled the bar. Okay, then that's all I need to know. Let's go right through the middle. As soon as this <laughs> Agonizer Scorcher spell unleashes, you watch this flame torrent burn through the bar. Could you go ahead and roll the damage, please? We're doing the, the thing that's there, right? See, you're making the face. Uh, you're making yeah. the face. Okay. Face. How am I the only one <laughs> picking up on it right now? <laughs> Second Not. time! Third time! Just, it's become a thing of his now. <laughs> I 
13 damage. <clears throat> you watch as this <clears throat> burns through like a flamethrower. You see people engulfed in magical fire. Their bodies begin to set ablaze as you hear screaming and cries of pain and death as they start to fall and suffocate on the own fumes and flame that is now singeing their esophagus and burning their lungs from the inside. As soon as this happens, you watch as probably about eight people drop dead from this blast. As soon as this, you watch as the individual burst from the back of the bar. You see it's that bartender from the beginning. You see him, there doesn't need to be any more bloodshed! Boom! And you see God damn it, why? <laughs> there was a bomb in the middle of it! You literally said earlier that you were going to say... <laughs> well, everyone give me a deck save! God damn it! I will use my ring of evasion. Lucky! <laughs> damn it! It's the exact same roll I just did. So I got 12. Oh no. Well, wait, no, I'm gonna actually roll if I don't get it, and then I'll, I'll uh, use my ring of vision. Good lord. Uh, <laughs> crap. Uh, 16. 16? You said you got two? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I used my ring of vision. Two and two. Really shit. Volna, why do you keep making situations worse than what they need to be? I, to his credit, did you get? I got 12. To his credit, he actually didn't know that there was a bomb in the <laughs> In character, I didn't know. A character out of character, you knew you'd still make the decision. I sure fucking did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm sitting here like, oh my god. I had, I promised Legic, 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 that we never lost a bar fight, and I'm gonna hold to that. <laughs> Even if it kills us. Okay. So, as soon as this fireball explodes, there's a blast throughout the room. Anyone who got over 10. <laughs> everyone get over 10 besides for... Nope. Okay. You guys will only take half damage. Um, but does your ring negate if it's half? I just... I think it just automatically makes me... Succeed. Succeed? Okay. Succeed. Let me double check. Okay. <clears throat> and yeah, which grenade was that? Um, was that the one from Tinsel? No, it wasn't that one. Oh my god. It was... <laughs> it's the bomb in the Adventure Gearing Pack. Oh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> they have Adventure Packs with bombs? Mine does. Bomb. One pound. <laughs> bomb. So I'm gonna go ahead and have it do the same damage that Tinsel's bombs do. I think you have that bomb. Tinsel's. No, I don't think I have bombs. Oh, he's working on another bomb. <laughs> That's the last thing you need to have access to is bombs. No. <laughs> Alright, so half of 26 damage, and then you'll take 26 damage of uh, fire damage. Should we, were we back in full health after? Yeah, we were. Yeah, we were long, because we were at sea <clears throat> for quite a while. You watch as Legic from the blast gets thrown over the bar. His body smashes up against the bottles and all the... Uh, Alcohol that's set up uh, along the ground, uh, <laughs> along the wall. As soon as he hits, you see your stars and your heads just sort of daze before you look at all the alcohol dripping and you see it. <laughs> oh my fucking god! <laughs> Ignite the wall, just engulfed in flames. <laughs> oh man! It doesn't usually do that. <laughs> so am I like engulfed in flames? No. You're, but you, you're quickly needing to get away from that before you do get engulfed okay. in flames. Okay. Uh, that is going to be... Uh... I guess... Legic now, because he took... Yeah, Legic, it's your turn. <clears throat> oh, God! Oh, oh right. I didn't you, fucking move. You look around the room and you see people <laughs> slowly getting up. People that are, like, still on fire. You can smell disgusting, melted, and burnt flesh as charred bodies are just lying on the ground. But you can see the building is quickly beginning to engulf. You watch as that bartender uh, uh, gets up, and he looks over towards you. Oh, shit. I'm going to go grab him. You going to grab him? Yeah. Okay. 
He doesn't really fight back. It looks like he's pretty banged up. Cool. You grab him by his shirt. Yep. Yeah, try to pick him up and get out of the bar. You just pick him up and you pull him out of the bar. What do you want to do when you get him out of the bar? Put him down. Oh! Can he? Is he able to move at all? Doesn't look like it. Cool. You stay right there. I'm gonna go back in. Oh. It's good that someone else like, becomes conscious now inside the lava deck. As you go back inside, what would you like to do? Who do I see? Uh, you can see that Jez, as was thrown up against the wall that she was next to, looks like Lavende is getting up from the dr- jumping back. Actually, Lavende jumped and took cover behind a table as the blast went over him. And uh, Falner is uh, currently still <clears throat> standing there looking at his hands. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go to Jez. This is getting strong. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Did I do that? Holy shit. Anyway. Go to Jess. Alright. Are you okay? Uh, he's such a blundering fucking moron. I swear to god I'm gonna kill him if we get out of this. You can hear this happened. hear this uh almost muffled cry. Shut the fuck up! It sounds like there's someone beneath you. You can hear a muffled cry, like Dude! Because it sounded like. Yeah. Sounds like Baptiste. I think that's Baptiste. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? We need to <laughs> fuck out of here. It's starting to catch fire down here! Uh-huh. It's starting to smoke! What was that door you came from? Where is it? It's like, I think I hit it. I think I'm leaning against it right now. I hit my head real bad. I think it's bleeding. I'm gonna push up on the door and see if it opens behind me. You swatch that door and kind of break and open up. Yeah, that's the one. <clears throat> get Fauna. Get out of here. No, I'm gonna go with you. Hey, Fauna. What? Asshole. You and Lavende. Get out of here. We're gonna get... We're gonna go do something. Do we hear them talking about Baptiste underneath? You can hear Baptiste screaming. Okay. Are we out of combat now? Technically, yeah. Everyone looks like they're too fucked up to fight. Okay. <laughs> We need you guys to stay out there in case something happens. You can maybe get us. If not, it was nice knowing you. I left the bartender outside. Uh, can I just go over where he's... Because I'm assuming it's wood, right? Yeah. Can I use flame blade to just cut a hole in the floor? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> like a lightsaber? <laughs> I'll say this. I don't know how thick... Because um, it, it sounds it, like it's... It, it's not solid flame. It is actually like a blade of flame. Yeah. So it would be like you taking a blowtorch to the table more than or the floor more than a It would take a while. It'll take a while. It'd take much while and the floor would just catch on fire. Okay. Wish we had a hammer. Big hammer. Oh Ian, you want me to do some siege damage. Is oh that what he's saying? God. Let's just find the door. <laughs> We're gonna go. So Legic and Jez leave? Mm-hmm. Okay. You guys head into that hallway, and as you look down to the left, uh, you don't see, you see a dead end, but there's those two doors on the right that you didn't go into. You guys want to check? Yeah. All right. I'll check one. As you open up one of them, one of them appears to be some sort of storage room. As you open it, it doesn't appear to be anything of use. And as you open up the other one, it looks like it is a um, <clears throat> room for, uh, oh, it's like a bathroom, a tree, basically. It's a chamber pot and a... Uh, Nothing really else in here. So the dead end down the hallway, yeah. and then there's that other spot where she came from. Mm-hmm. Shit. Shit. Oh, we better hurry up. Keep going down the hallway. Give me an investigation check. Thirteen. Six. What would you guys like to do? Well, I'm thinking. Because I, I just want to make this quick and easy. <laughs> What to what he's doing? Yes. I just want to destroy the floor and get him out. Oh, that's all I want to do. Is there anyone still alive in this? Uh, the people that are alive appear to be moving very slowly, getting up slowly, and some people are fleeing, like hobbling out. Good. I, I, that's what I want to do. I want to, if anybody's trying to leave, I'll help them out. Okay. Actually, so a bomb went off. Yes. Is there a hole in the floor? There is damage to the floor. Uh, 
Do you need it opened? Yeah. Can you open it for me? I can open it. All right. He's not a conch. Not I'm not using the conch. <laughs> There's no water around here. All right. I'll go over. What what's the floor look like? Well, it basically looks like uh, where the bomb went off it must have been right over a support beam. Uh, you can see the floor is kind of dented in, but you can see the stud beneath it. All right. I use giant smite to become large. Okay. So I'm gonna have advantage on strength checks. I'm using the skull break that it just. And you watch as Fallner gets <laughs> large, and he grabs his weapon and roll damage. And as he's doing that, I'm going to turn into an ape. That way, I can carry a Baptiste out of here. Okay. Just, oh, just roll damage. Sounds good. Sixteen damage. Sixteen damage. You watch as he brings that. This his blade crushes down into the foundation, into that uh, support beam. You watch as it cuts in deep and breaks and splinters. As you watch as the floor buckle and cave in, and the weight of Falner as Falner drops down into the basement below. As you do, you actually hit what feels like a metal uh, cage. As soon as you hit this cage, you look down and you can see Baptiste. <gasps> ah! <sighs> Someone get me out of here, please! And I'm calling in. As, in. as you crawl in, you see that Baptiste is, in fact, in what looks like a prisoner cage. Uh, it looks to be steel. Um, it actually looks very similar to the cages that were on... Uh, Barbosa's ship. Interesting. I'm going to point and, like, get him out. Alright. Alright, I go down there. Uh... Oh, oh. Don't smash this man. No. Uh, it, what, what exactly does it... Is it... You watch as Baptiste makes his way up as he grabs the bars like... Get the fucking key! <laughs> Get the key! Look around, is that key really hanging on the walls? Well, I'd rather just smash it in. <laughs> I was gonna smash it in. As you look at it, there's no, it's not like a padlock and a chain, it's like the lock is built into the door of it. Um, you're gonna need to get the key to get him out of there, unless you have a way to crash through solid steel. Just look for a key. Well, I, I always said, uh, do I not see a key to... anywhere? You can go ahead and give me an a investigation of perception. <laughs> yeah. He was going to try to smash through it anyway. I just saw it on his face. <laughs> I'm going to do the investigation as well. Okay. Oh, I got... I got 15. 23. 23. I got 15. Both of you look around the room and do not see any sign of a key. Uh, Is there anything else in there that we could use to try to pry this open? I know there. Well, do you have any tools on you? Oh, wow. Uh, well, I, I don't know if I can access them, even if I did have them. You'd have to revert back to your normal form. But yeah. I don't know what's right. If you have a crowbar, you could attempt I'm, to try I to might have one, actually. that open. However, that will be very difficult. <clears throat> you two both hear the crash. You can actually hear the conversation now happening as you make your way back out into the uh, main tavern. Uh, you see the hole, and you actually see that lava day and Fulmer down there trying, attempting to get Baptiste out. As the room is now beginning to fill with smoke, and the fire is getting hot. Oh, what the fuck's going on down there? I'm not saying anything. Helpful. <laughs> well, only because we're I, get... I'm a, a gorilla. <laughs> we're, trying... <laughs> we're, we're trying to get this uh, cage open. What do you need? You need to pry it open. I mean, I could try. I'll, I'll, I'll try to pry it. Like, you have a crowbar? Right, no. I'm going to do it with my bare hands. You're going to do it with your bare Follow hands. Oh, is it locked? Okay. Um, I will tell you what. What? <laughs> what would happen if I helped? <laughs> I will tell you what. This is solid steel. You want to pry it open with your bare hands. You give me a natural 20 in one roll. I will let it happen. Oh, my God. This get is it. Get it. Get it. This is the time. Yeah. That one's cocked. Oh my god. I said one roll. That was worse. I'm hopping down. I'm hopping you down watch there. as you hop down, you see Fallner on the bars. Ah, Hold on. Just ah, move aside, Fallner. 
Oh, beside. I'm gonna hop down. I'm gonna get out my lock picking kit. I'm okay. gonna try and pick it. Go ahead and give me a. Uh, you got this. Let's see here. Yeah. Well, give me a sleight of hand. Right here. Twenty-five. That's good. You watch as Jez makes her way down, and with one quick slip, you see feel the tumbler rise up, and the door opens up. Yeah. As Baptiste comes out, <laughs> right, let's get out of here! Come on! How we how we get out now? I got this. I don't like that you're laughing. <laughs> I just made myself laugh. I bring out that rope. Yeah. And I throw it up top, and I use the command to have it uh, wrap around something. You oh, watch as he pulls this what? rope out, and it almost like a snake. <laughs> and as you grab onto it, how far is it up there? Uh, it's over 50 feet. Okay, then I can't do that. Ooh. I was gonna make it not, but then it would just make it to plain. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, let's get up. I'm gonna try to climb. You don't even need to climb. Oh, that's right. What? Everyone, as he hang grab, on. <laughs> as, you, uh, as he tells everyone to hang on, you guys grab onto uh, Legic as the rope, like a grappling line, pulls him up. As you realize the rope is enchanted, you all get hold up to the top as it, the rope literally drags you up as it almost it seems like the rope just gets shorter until you watch the rope come back down to a small strand of not not this big oh, i need some of that for my ship pretty cool that's isn't it? yeah it's amazing that's no, no time to okay, go. Go. That's pretty neat. What's up, all right as this point the group then exits out the front of the bottom of the bottle as you turn back and look at the building, which is completely engulfed in flames. My disguise is still up, by the way. Correct. Yeah, I'm not... <laughs> oh yeah, the bartender's out. So. Why can't we do the simplest of tasks without setting an entire establishment on fire? Yeah. Who's, who's them or us? Baptiste, what happened? <laughs> You look towards Baptiste. Baptiste, um, he has uh, uh, a dark complexion, uh, very Caesar-like um, uh, trimmed hair, black hair. Uh, though he does have some white that's starting to spread through the sides of his hair. He definitely looks like he's in his in his mid to late 50s, pushing 60s. <clears throat> that was right about the job. It's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Too good for me. Do we have a place we can go and talk about this? Somewhere away from the burning fucking building and wherever Eugene's men may be showing up from? My ship. Your ship? Mm. It's probably the safest place since apparently even with a disguise on they know who I am somehow. These are good people. Mm. I, you, you, I'm saying that with glitter. <laughs> I should I should pull out my drugs right there. We're uh, excellent people, Eva. Right. Let's go. After you. It is a bartender still in the street. No. Or, uh, yeah, I go with. Yeah, I'm following. As you all eventually make your way back to the ship, you notice that he gets up on the deck. See, he's clearly very dehydrated. Looks almost malnourished as well. <clears throat> you have food or water? I haven't had a drink food in two days. I'll pull out the water skin. Ah, oh, thank you. We're good. So you want to tell us why you were kept prisoner down there? Yeah. As he's talking, I'm going to not be a gorilla anymore, and as I'm getting out, I'm going to... Oh, you were yeah. a gorilla all the way through the city? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's Joe. He's Joe Gorilla. Yeah. Just, uh, let me make a note. <laughs> They're never going to see that gorilla ever again. <laughs> yeah, you want the group that had a gorilla just walking with them. They'll have to find us. They'll never find us. And as I'm doing that, I'm going to use good berry and hand them the berries as well. Appreciate it. Yeah. Oh. Those things are always so sour. But they're always so filling. Notice that as this happens, uh, 
the ship's relatively empty. I actually noticed that the only person who's really on the ship right now is Hakan. Khan makes his way down. What's, uh, what's going on? Well, we found our lead. Good. Baptiste, Good. where is everyone? Um, tattoos. Oh, and I need to cut that short. Right. Just keep a lookout while we're talking to him, could you? I got it. I'll stand watch on the deck. He turns and you watch as he grabs his hammer and makes his way over to watch. See, Baptiste. Hmm. Uh, they were after medallion. Medallion. I have it hidden here on the island. It's a key. Key to something great. Eugene was working with that salt liquor, Calypso. Calypso needs it for something. Medallion's not complete, though. It's missing a piece. A gem. <clears throat> the center. However, the medallion's also a map. It'll tell us where to go next. Oh, damn it. Magic, I'm glad that I hit it before we uh, met up. Otherwise, I'd probably already be dead. A map to what? That's El Thivado. And that's where we're going to end tonight's episode. Oh my goodness. So, thank you all. Guys, going to be so happy. Yeah. Thank you all for joining us for episode 54. <laughs> uh, we will be back again next Sunday, episode 55, as we continue well, this. Okay. And I will say this, we are getting down to the final portion of the Strand arc. Oh, I was like, D &D, don't ever get in this. No, no. Just, this is my arc. We're about to get into rails as ours down too. Yeah. So the Strand arc will be coming to an end probably within the next 10 to 15 episodes. Yeah. So things are going to start getting interesting down here in the Strand. So, without further ado. That's scary, actually. Vampire tomorrow. Yeah. Which, from Wait. here, is yes. May the 3rd, Monday. Yeah. Whoops. On Twitch. Ah. So, without any further ado, thank you all for watching. And as always, to embrace the dark. Good night.